They say that competitive eating is the battleground upon which God and Lucifer wage war for men's souls, my friends, and they are right. For this is a battle of the ages. This is a battle of the Titans, the early God, warrior kings, who come to earth for only one purpose, and that is the Draft King's Red Carpet Film Feast. The preview show starts right now. Everybody, I'm Jesse Cofield. Welcome to the DraftKings Red Carpet Film Feast presented by Major League Eating. No Sunday scaries here because we're going to keep them at bay. By previewing tonight's action, we'll take you right up until the start of the event at 6 p.m. And it all goes down right here on the Dream Stream. Here's what you need to know about the festivities. Now, this is the third event that we've put on with Major League Eating. Back in October, we had the Halloween Candy Bowl. And for the Super Bowl, in February, it was the big game Snackdown. This event being held on Oscar night is, of course, movie themed. Allow me to lay out the deets. The Film Feast is a three part event that starts with a mega movie soda chugging contest. Three top major league eaters will then pay homage to a famous movie scene from Cool Hand Luke by fighting to determine who can eat 50 hard boiled eggs the fastest. And make sure to save some of your appetite for the final part of the event as three of the top names in the sport go head to head in an all you can eat eight minute event to establish a new world record in the first ever popcorn eating world championship. So much eating to do. And throughout the next half an hour, we're gonna hear directly from our competitors on their strategies for tonight's event. And while you're watching, you can follow along with our free to play pool for tonight and take your shot at $10,000. How to do that, glad you asked. Head on over to the DraftKings Sportsbook now and find our free 10K Major League Eating Red Carpet Film Feast Pool. Then answer questions about tonight's event and follow along to see if you walk away with 10K. The more correct answers you get, the more money you can win. So go check that out on the DK Sportsbook right now under the Pools tab and take your free shot at 10K. Okay, enough for me, enough me time. Time to meet the competitors. We start off with one of our contenders in the first undercard, the Mega Movie Soda Chug. Guys, this man is no stranger to drinking a lot of liquid really quickly, as you'll find out in his sit down with our own Emerson Lazia. Well, the DraftKings Red Carpet Film Feast competition is coming up and joining us now is the big man, the infamous competitive eater and YouTube star, Eric Badlands Booker. What's shaking, dude? Hey, Emerson, it's all good. Thanks for having me. Appreciate you. Yeah, we're happy to have you here. I know uh, you're going to be competing in one of the undercards here for this event, which is the Soda Gallon Chug. So it'll be a head-to-head -head competition between you and Derek Hendrickson, where you're both going to be served 128 ounces of soda. First one to finish will be declared the winner. Your YouTube channel is literally called Badlands Chug. So how confident are you in your chugging ability? Well, I'm um, I'm pretty confident, but you know, I can't sleep on Derek because you you know he's a great competitive eater, and I know he got some chugging skills too. So you know, I'm gonna come in there hungry and focused, you know, empty and ready, and hey. May the best chugger prevail that night. All right, what's going to be the time? What will be the winning time? What do you think? Give me a guess. Uh, about 30 seconds. 30 okay. 30 seconds, 30, you know, if I take my time, about, well, you know, 45, you know, if, if it's, you know, if it's like pedal to the metal, I probably could do it in about a good 20, 20, 15, 20. We'll see what happens, all right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. How much different is chugging soda compared to like other liquids that maybe aren't carbonated like that? Yeah, well, chugging soda is number one is the carbonation, okay? You know, you have to deal with, you know, not only the liquid coming into you, it's that extra pressure that the carbonation is, is uh, getting, especially if we're doing like a diet soda, which I, I don't know what kind of soda we're drinking, but if it's diet, it's even much more, you know, intense because but for some reason, it's just a diet soda just pu puts more um, gas into you. So, you know, it's like, it, since it's a gallon, uh, you think about a gallon, that's like yeah. 
pretty much two two liters okay yeah <laughs> so it's like you know you know if you, if you if you got to stop at all you know because you know the force that enters your ingestion engine gets too great you know what I'm saying the the kinetic forces that you, you know, it has to go it, you only go one way then that's you know that's out so if you know if you're chugging chugging it's like oh my god I can't take it no more I got to stop the burp you know that's going to be a key too you know I was going to say you you probably let out the biggest burp in the world when you're done with these things oh man it's uh you know there've been some <laughs> baby ones and there's been some epic ones uh, you know but <laughs> But, but like you know, earth it's, shaking, man. Like yeah, I can feel, yeah. I can feel you from Boston. <laughs> the the um, there was one time I I, I had a real impressive burp. It was uh, nine seconds long. Even Mrs. Badlands upstairs in the room was like was like oh, you, she heard it from there. She was uh -huh. like she was like oh my god, what are you doing down there? What's going on? <laughs> Because you know the, the, the house is shaking. The, the, the fellows like the burps, not so much the ladies. You know, what I'm saying? Yeah. they tolerate yeah. it. They tolerate it. You know, because I feel that a burp is like our, you know, the the closest thing to our lion roar. You know, what I'm saying all you know, yeah. how how you know we in the jungle and we're here and this is our dominant. You know, I'm here. Like, yeah, you know. <laughs> Do you <laughs> probably scared your little dachshund who you've named Coney, by the way? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She was just like, what the heck is going on here? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's the hardest thing you've ever had to chug? The hardest thing I ever had to chug. Um, I've chugged apple cider vinegar once. That was tough. That oh. was tough because it was super acidic. And oh man, my throat was out of commission for a whole weekend. Uh, let's see, what other thing that's pretty hard, you know? Yeah. Uh, like, like, you know, you know, the hot sauces are pretty hard too, you know what I'm saying? I've chugged a bottle of sriracha once, you know? Oh my I mean, God. I like the hot, I like the hot sauces though. But so, so, you, you know, it, I was a little more nervous about, you know, you know, me being on fire for the rest of the night, but it wasn't too bad. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't yeah. too bad. <laughs> I mean, people might hear the apple cider vinegar and think that's disgusting. But then when it comes to like strangest, when I'm like digging through your YouTube account, you've chugged uh -huh. Thanksgiving gravy. This was like four months ago. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then you had the, the habanero salsa chug. Like, how do you chug salsa? But it's the spicy stuff you love again. Oh, yeah. I love the spice. I mean, when, when I did that, right, it was me and another YouTuber, Dane Drops, big ups to him. We was in a Walmart, right? We was going to do a video for his channel because he has his own ice cream. I mean, he has his face on the, on the, yeah. on the cart and like Eddie Murphy has his face on the money in, in Zamunda, right? So <laughs> we, we, we just saw like this big like um, display of Tostitas, you know, habanero hot salsa. Mm. I've never seen habanero hot salsa before, right? And so I'm looking at it and, you know, you know, Dame is like, so what you going to do, Bad Lance? And I'm like, I'm going to grab it up and let's just make a video. But it it, it was rough, but it was, uh, it was cool. It, it was rough, but it was epic at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I would ever touch gravy again if I had to chuck gravy like the way you did, dude. Like, I don't know. You're, you're a different breed though, man. Now I'm thirsty. Good luck to Badlands against Derek Hendrickson in our first undercard. Now we move on to a competitor from our next event, the egg eating contest. Dear God, 50 hard boiled eggs, as quick as you can consume them. First one to finish wins. For this competition, we had to catch up with our good friend, Nick Weary. The last time we saw Nick in competition was at the Super Bowl, where he had recently announced that he and his girlfriend, Mickey Sudo, AKA the number one ranked female in competitive eating, were expecting their first child. Now, I'm not sure how Nick is gonna top that, but winning this contest would be a start. Here he is with Emerson Lazia. Everyone say hello to MLE's sixth ranked eater and soon to be father, Nick Weary. So uh, last time we talked here, dude, you and your girlfriend, top ranked female eater, Mickey Sudo, announced that you guys were expecting a kid. How has everything been going? Doing great. You know, we are 26 weeks as of today, actually. So uh, her and the little boy are doing well. Um, you know, she just had a recent doctor's appointment. Everybody's doing good. So um you know, that's, if, if that's good, I can deal with the rest. You know, everything else is going pretty good, so. Uh, what food has she been craving throughout this pregnancy? Um, there's a hot sauce called Suntava. It's a habanero-based <laughs> hot sauce. 
I literally bought her two cases of this hot <laughs> sauce. We found on clearance, which was really cool too. That's probably why I bought the two cases. But uh, really spicy foods. Um, and then just depth of flavor. She can't just make a lunch. It has to be like a 76 step process into making depth of flavor with stuff. So <laughs> her, her taste buds are enhanced. So um, just a lot, of, a lot more flavor stuff. Will she be there supporting you during this event? She will. She will. I think it's nice. It's, it's half support, and then it's half um, if you don't do well, I won't even sit next to you on the plane ride home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got like that dad strength now. So like I, I'm I'm confident in you here because you're you're gonna be competing in like one of the undercards at the DraftKings Red Carpet Film Feast, right? So this is like the hard boiled egg contest, three person yeah. event in which all contestants will be served 50 hard boiled eggs in a standardized bowl. So the first to finish or whomever consumes the most in six minutes will be declared the winner. So what is going to be your strategy here for this one? Uh, eat eggs really fast. No, um, it's going to be, there's gauging them. I feel like uh, subconsciously I've been training for a hard boiled egg event for the last like 14 years of my adult life, you know, but um, eat my fair share. But if you can get a, a rhythm with that, because um, as crazy as it sounds, it's only probably about, six pounds of food total. So not too, too bad. If you can get a rhythm with the eggs, um, try not to maybe get your mouth too dry with the yolk. You should be able to get them down pretty quick. Yeah. How uh, often do you eat eggs? It sounds like quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Usually each morning either starts with protein paste or it starts with uh, 12 egg whites and two whole eggs. So it's probably the equivalent of about six dozen eggs a week in the house. We go through just for myself and then she eats a few here and there. So. Oh my God, man. So that's probably got to give you a little more confidence coming in or does that like not really matter? Um, there's a little bit of confidence, you know, I, I know my way around an egg, so to speak, you know, eating, being a bodybuilder, you know, if this was 10 years ago in my active bodybuilding life, there's no way because I loathed eggs during that time being forced yeah. to eat. But now I'm, uh, I'm pretty psyched. I'm, I'm trying not to get overconfident, but I'm pretty excited. All right, this will be your third DraftKings and MLE event, right? So you came in fourth at the Halloween Candy Bowl, third at the Big Game Snackdown. So how badly do you want to win one of these? Oh, God. Yeah. Winning, you know, winning isn't everything. It's, it's the only thing. So for me, it's every contest I go into, it's with the intent to win. Um, so this one definitely, uh, I wanted a little bit more because it is hard-boiled eggs. I'd love to be your, your hard-boiled egg eating champion. Um, done pretty well, even at the, um, the, the big game events, I almost snuck into second with chestnut there towards the end. So that was pretty cool. So if I can go into this one and, uh, try to dominate, start to finish that, that would mean a lot to try to come out of the top and get my first, uh, my first pro W that's not a qualifier. So. so what changes with you just going up against two other people instead of like a stage filled with other men and women? Uh, for me, to be honest with you, not too much. I know okay. some people, they, they pay attention to what other people are doing. Um, if you watch me, you know, tune in next Sunday, you'll probably see my eyes closed for the majority of the event. Really? Um, yeah. If I have my eyes open and I'm looking around, I'm really not doing my job. You know, there's, um, it, there's the movie For the Love of the Game with Kevin Costner. And before every pitch, there's the clear the mechanism. And 70,000 people in the stadium go away. Uh, that should kind of be how it is. I, I want to kind of hear George or whoever's doing the countdown at the time, maybe where the time is, where some other people are. But um, you really can't give too much, to be honest with you. If, yeah. if I go in there and I do my job, that title's mine. Nick will be taking on Michelle Lesko and Matt Hazard in that three-person competition. So a lot of eggs will be consumed, I'm sure. It will be excellent. <laughs> I crack myself up. Okay, our next competitor will be taking part in our main event, the popcorn eating competition. Eight minutes, all you can eat. Matt Stoney was the winner of our Halloween candy bowl, but could not attend our Super Bowl snack down. Now, Matt is back to try and regain his DraftKings title from February's winner, Jeffrey Esper. And oh yeah, he'll also have to take down Joey Chestnut. But Matt isn't intimidated by the number one and two competitive eaters in MLE. He's ready to take home another win and prove he belongs here he is with Emerson Lazio. All right, joining us now ahead of the DraftKings Red Carpet Film Feast competition is the fourth ranked eater in Major League Eating. That's Matt Stoney. How you been, dude? 
Dude, been doing good, man. I was bummed out to miss the big game uh, SmackDown uh, back in, I think it was February. Um, yeah. That was a bummer, but dude, I'm super excited, man. First, it's the first contest of 2021, and I can't wait to get back on stage. Yeah, because you won the Halloween edition of like our events with MLE. So how motivated are you, I guess, to reclaim the belt, the crown? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm all, I, yeah, I always, want, I always want to win. I always want to beat Joey at everything. No, I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, um, obviously the Halloween contest, that was a surprise. It was my first contest of the year back then at the full, um, I mean, I don't want to call it an upset, but in my mind, it was even an upset. Like I, I, yeah. I was super psyched to win that event. Um, obviously the toothbrush trophy, trophy was cool. And, uh, like I said, bummed to miss the second event, DraftKings event. And, um, yeah, really when I show up this uh, this time and uh, just prove that it wasn't a fluke and make it happen a few times in a row. Yeah, dude. I mean, you're going to be competing in the main event. So it's the popcorn eating contest here. Whoever eats the yeah. most 24 ounce servings of popcorn <laughs> in eight minutes will be declared the winner. What experience do you have eating popcorn? Uh, of course I get a call. Um, it's probably Joey. He's like, yo, I hear you yeah, right, talking said, the mad crap off. right now. Throw me <laughs> off. Um, no, I mean, actually I have zero i don't know why for some reason i feel like i have some experience but i've never eaten popcorn fast never done a contest with popcorn and this is the first this will be a first uh, world record for popcorn uh, at this event and um i think the closest thing i've done to eating stuff like popcorn fast is like potato chips mm -hmm. and it's you know it's like it's greasy it's salty and stuff um more kind of too but uh yeah i think I, I don't think anybody on the stage and that's that's one of the fun parts about it too is it's like we're all going to be fresh we're all new to this so we don't know what to expect. Yeah. What do you anticipate the biggest challenge being eating popcorn? I I feel like the crunchiness, because so I mean so air, you know, so airy, you have to constantly yeah. be crunching. So your jaw is gonna be working the entire time. Um, and then saltiness. I mean, I don't popcorn seems salty. It's very salty. I uh, usually yeah. pretty salty. So I'd probably say maybe just a little bit of like fatigue around the mouth and a little dehydrating stuff as you go. But um, it's only an eight minute contest. It's not that long. It's not going to be brutal, brutal. So um, probably just the crunching, probably the jaw, the jaw so, going. Have you like started yet training for this? I've started preparing a little bit. I mean, we, I think we only got the go ahead and um, exactly what the event was going to be like a week or so ago. Yeah. And stuff. And um but yeah, man, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm dialed in. It's got a week and a half until the event, and it's nothing but popcorn. Uh, imagine the amount of flossing you're going to have to do after this <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at this point, it's, it, it's basically collateral damage at this point. It's just part of the job. <laughs> you know? I don't even complain yeah. anymore. Uh, are you a popcorn at the movies kind of guy? No, dude, I... I don't know how people... I personally don't know how people eat at the movie theater. Like, I just can't, like... What? I, I, I'm watching the movie... I, I get like a soda or something, a water to sip on so I'm not thirsty. But like just sitting there for two hours with like greasy, salty fingers and stuff. And it just, to me, it doesn't seem fun. Like I just prefer to watch the movie. I'm not a pop, like I'm not like a eat the movie type of guy. No, no candy, nothing. No nachos. You know, the, the crazy people get the hot dogs there too. Nah, dude. I mean, I, wow. maybe I just haven't tried. I Maybe I just haven't tried it in many years because <laughs> I, I don't know. It's not me, but um. I'll change. I'll change on. Uh, I'll change on Sunday. Yeah, um, you will be going up against the top two ranked eaters in MLE here, man. We already know how you feel about going up against Joey Chestnut. Then there's Jeffrey Esper as well, who won the event that you were not part of Super Bowl weekend. Uh, how do you think you're going to stack up against these guys in this specific event? Uh, I mean, in this specific event, that's tough because, like I said, this is the first time we've ever had a popcorn eating championship. So nobody knows what anybody's bringing to the table, um, which is part of the fun of it. I mean, Joey, you know, he's the GOAT. He's done, done it for so many years. He's been on top for so long. Uh, it's hard to argue without that. And Esper has done nothing but prove himself in the past few years. Just like you said, he won big game SmackDown. He came in second place with the Halloween contest. He was right on my tail. So um, both of them are basically the biggest threat that could possibly compete against <laughs> in an event. And um, yeah, dude, it's, it's about as intense as it gets. And I, I like the competition. I, I think it gives me something to work for, to, to push for. And um, it's going to be the best possible popcorn eating event that could ever happen. <laughs> right? oh, yeah, it's going to be intense. It's going to be intense. <laughs> and we're all going to be watching each other. Because also, there's only three people on stage, which usually doesn't yeah. happen. Usually there's like eight people or six or whatever. So it's just 
less people to like more you can you could dial in and focus on uh, Esper and Joey even more this time so Well, last but certainly not least, we couldn't have this show without hearing from the GOAT himself, the number one competitive eater in MLE and the king of Coney Island, Joey Chestnut. Now, it won't be hot dogs Joey is eating, but he's still hungry for his first DraftKings title. Having been defeated in the first two MLE DraftKings events, Joey's out to prove he's still the best in the business. Here's Emerson Lazio with the man himself talking about how he is going to take down the DraftKings red carpet film feast. All right, joining us now ahead of the DraftKings Red Carpet Film Feast competition is the fourth-ranked eater in Major League Eating. That's Matt Stoney. How you been, dude? Dude, been doing good, man. I was bummed out. All right, let's kick this thing up a notch. He's the number one overall ranked eater in Major League Eating, and he's out for revenge at the DraftKings Red Carpet Film Feast competition. He's the one, the only Joey Chestnut. It's good to see you again. How have you been? I've, uh, I'm, I've been good. I, uh, better. I, uh, I'm excited for this event. Finally, we have an event where it's one food and I can just focus on just going to town. And, uh, and I, it, it's, it's going to be an intense one. It's a, it's a weird food. You've never done it, but, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. So with you having never done popcorn before, like what can you draw like experience from that you've eaten in the past to kind of help you here? Well, you know, I, I have to go on, go in. Uh, I have to. I've, I'm depending on my smarts a little bit. I've I've been experimenting a little bit of what liquid I'm going to use to drink. Uh, I've done everything from warm lemonade, coffee, uh, even uh, a diluted pickle juice. I thought the vinegar might help dilute because uh, because that popcorn. You, it, I'm trying to I'm trying to use a hot liquid that will almost melt it. They try to get it go to, to get, go down really quick, and. Uh, so it'll swallow quickly. Um, so I, I, I think I've finally I've figured out a mix of liquids that uh, that not only uh, helps uh, make the pop popcorn kind of dissolve and go down fast, but uh, also I like the taste and I'm gonna depend on that a little bit because because eight minutes of popcorn we're not gonna be able to eat enough to get full. It's it's a, the the whole trick is gonna be to find the find the fastest way to get it down and uh, the most efficient without making a mess. Because there, there's going to be deductions, and I, uh, I, th I think I feel good. Well, I did speak with Badlands Booker earlier, and he did. I asked him. I said, "What advice would you have for those taking part in like the popcorn portion?" And he said he would recommend, yeah, a warm liquid with the popcorn because it's so tricky. He's a huge popcorn and movie guy. Brings his own straw to the movies. Absolutely, I, I think. Uh, I think a, a popcorn, a, a warm liquid, a little bit acidic. Uh, will help break it down and uh, help to swallow and uh, just just you gotta find you gotta and you gotta practice grabbing the right size the right size you can squeeze it a little bit and one, once one hand with the drink and one hand to uh to uh just squeeze it and shove but uh it's, it's gonna be intense we haven't done it in competition so uh i have to i i hate to look at jeff because he he's uh, if if I end up noticing he's behind, he's ahead of me, then yeah. most likely he's, then it's too late uh, in an eight minute contest to change my method. I'm hoping I can I can have the right method from the start, and uh, I won't even have to look at him or or Matt. Both of those yeah. guys they they won the first two contests. I, uh, I I need to I need to wrap up this third one with a win. Yeah, it's it's you know Stony with the Halloween candy bowl, uh, Esper Jeff who you're talking about with the big game snack down. It sounds like you want to beat them like badly and get and get that title. Yeah, this is the this is the third one. Uh, it's strike three, and I, I'm I'm gonna start. People are gonna start saying I'm not number one anymore. Mm. Uh, so I, this is and, and also we're going into Fourth of July season. Uh, hot dogs are coming up. Oh my God, two and a half months away, I think. And uh, yeah, that's that's all it is. So I, uh, I I'm I'm gonna be it, it, yeah. It, this is this is I want to get ready for hot dogs by getting a win right now. How nervous are you that people could start doubting you if you don't deliver here? Oh my god, I, I, am I nervous? Yeah, I'm. You know, if people start doubting me, that, that's one thing. Uh, I just can't doubt myself. I need I need to every contest. I I all both contests I lost. I I I, I believe if 
I've made changes. I, I could have won. Uh, if I if I go three, four, or five contests without winning, then then it's harder for me to believe that. And I uh, I, I still believe uh, I, I can I can get the win. And uh, and then, uh, so my head's in a good place, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do what it takes. So would you prefer an, an event where there are more competitors like on stage instead of just like one or two guys or, you, you know, lock eyes with them or see the progress they're making through the competition? You, you, well, I, I like a big contest, a big contest with an audience. Uh, it, it doesn't matter whether there's one competitor or, or 20. I, it, it's... Uh, it, the, the, the audience in a big contest, uh, I think they're, they're going to have a little bit more audience this time at, at the, uh, in Vegas. So I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping they're going to be yelling a little bit more. And um, it, so it really doesn't matter. It, it, there, there's not, not 10 guys, but uh, it, yeah. I, I love eating against guys who can beat me. And these two guys, Jeff and Matt, they're, uh, I, I, I don't, they're not going to let me get lazy. I, I, I want to go out there and eat and uh, just push it and when it's not going to be comfortable it's not going to be pretty uh the, the faces i make won't uh, <laughs> be pleasant oh, but I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna get it down all right everyone you've heard from the competitors now go make your picks head on over to the DraftKings sportsbook now and find our free 10k major league eating red carpet film feast pool answer questions about tonight's event and follow along to see if you walk away with 10k and remember the more correct answers you get the more money you can win so go check that out on the dk sportsbook right now under the pools tab and take your free shot at 10k so when our competitors uh, don't need to eat as fast as humanly possible, what kinds of snacks do they like to enjoy when just relaxing and watching a movie? What kind of movies are they watching? Are they even capable of eating slowly? We ask them about all their favorite movie options when they're just, you know, enjoying what they eat. He's the number one overall ranked eater in Major League Eating, and he's out for revenge at the DraftKings Red Carpet Film Feast competition. He's the one, the only Joey Chestnut, Jeffrey Esper, Nick Weary, the big man, the infamous competitive eater, and YouTube star, Eric Badlands Booker. Fourth ranked eater in Major League Eating, that's Matt Stoney. What's your favorite movie of all time before you get out of here? My favorite movie of all time. That's a tough one. Jeez. You know, Ghostbusters, but I, I would have to put yes. it at all time. At, at all time. It's uh, it's never going to, I'm not going to get old. It's tired of it. Castaway is probably the only movie where I've ever shed a tear when Wilson floats away. Um, it's probably oh my God, year. that gets you? Dude, <laughs> Wilson floating away? In the history. I can, oh, the Green Mile is close, but Wilson yeah. floating might be more sad. Of course, I like Star Wars. I like Blade Runner, you know, you know, and it's like, I like some movies that are like, not like, like, you know, common that people know, like as far as horror movies, I like Galaxy of Terror. I am excited to see uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. I've not seen that one yet. I want to see I hear that's pretty sick. Yeah, I hear they but, just um, beat the living snot out of each other. Eat forgetting Sarah Marshall. That, that, that oh movie, my God. It, it, there's just uh, things about that movie that make me laugh like crazy. That was like the blueprint, you know, I was like, it was a Roger Corman film, but okay. James Cameron worked on the whole film. And if you can, if you watch that film, you can see the inspiration for Aliens, you know, and that film is called Galaxy of Terror. That's a good one. Uh, you know, that that changes, uh, you know, because it's at, like pretty cool action movies. I have to say that they're doing the um, the Cool Hand Luke 58 thing before our contest. So that uh -huh. was always my favorite movies growing up for sure. There is truly no one better than Emerson Lazia to do those interviews because the man loves snack time. Okay, guys, here's tonight's schedule. Coming up very shortly at 6 p.m., it's the DraftKings Red Carpet Film Feast. Duh, what we've been talking about for the last half an hour. But the fun doesn't stop on the Dreamstream. We got two Madden Sims coming your way at 8 p.m. It's the Texans at the Raiders with Adam Kaufman and Jason Rossi on the call. Then at 10 p.m., Kaufman, he's going to stick around. Matt LaMarca will join him in the booth for Cardinals at Giants. All right, guys. Wow. Amazing. That's going to do it for me. Enjoy the feast. I mean, really enjoy it. Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, here are Richard and George Shea in about 30 seconds.
Matt, Hungry Hazard, first time in a DraftKings event, and he picked the right one. There he is on the red carpet. And Michelle Lesko, who had a snowboarding industry, unbeknownst to me, and she's ambling her way down the red carpet to see the great Mickey Sudo. And, of course, Las Vegas' own Matt Stoney, the Megatone. The Megatone and Jeff Esper from Massachusetts, a big champion in our league. It is the DraftKings Red Carpet Film Feast, the biggest night in show business. And there's a show business guy, Badlands Booker from Badlands Chug fame. Got a little surprise up our sleeves. And the undercard, of course, to the popcorn eating championship tonight is eggs, the first to finish 50 hard boiled eggs. That'll be battled by Nick Wary. Hungry Hazard and Michelle Lesko. The popcorn eating championship, what we're all looking forward to for the clapper here with DraftKings. It's Jeff Esper, Joey Chestnut, and the great Matt Stoney. Happy Sunday, everybody, and welcome to what I call the 21st R&D Simon, the Paris Hotel and Casino here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We are on the patio of Beer Park, and unlike other parks that have trees and grass, we have 30 tap beers and unlimited fireball. I am Richard Shea, president of Major League Eating, alongside George Shea, our chairman, and we are psyched to have you with us for the DraftKings Red Carpet Film Feast. Now, George, it's not every day that we get to make history in our league, and we've been doing this for more than 20 years. We've never had a popcorn eating contest. That's our big event tonight. What will popcorn mean to these eaters? Well, first of all, it's wide open. No one knows what's going to happen because this has never been done, especially in these circumstances. If anyone tells you they know the outcome of this, they're lying, Richard. <laughs> Richard, they're lying. This is wide open. <laughs> well, Joey Chestnut, Jeff Esper, and, of course, Matt Stoney competing in popcorn. The undercard to that event, however, features Hungry Hazard, Michelle Lesko, and uh, our man Nick Wary. That is a hard-boiled egg-eating contest. We all seen that cool hand Luke scene with Paul Newman eating 50 hard-boiled eggs. Talk to me about eggs, George. Well, look, I was there in Kentucky when Joey Chestnut ate 144 hard-boiled eggs in eight minutes. Mickey Sudo ate 104. It's very difficult, but I expect them to go down fast today, Richard. It is spring, the egg, a symbol of spring, a symbol of renewal. It's perfect. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. And, you know, DraftKings has odds on all of this stuff. They also have a free paid free to play. I'm sorry, $10,000 free to play. So if you want to play along, download that DraftKings app and get involved and stick around with that app. Keep it open because for the movie awards, there's a $25,000 free to play for that part of this evening. So look, it's a lot on tap here at Beer Park. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's DraftKings. It's Major League Eating. And I can't wait to get going, George. Rock on. Well, we have, as I said, a surprise. It's the chug here at Beer Park. And what's movie night without soda? This is a gallon of soda. And no surprise here, the foremost chugger in the world's favorite with negative uh, 305 and the upstart from uh, this area at plus 250. George, why don't you take it away for the chug? Richard, this is the world chugging championship of the world. Hometown boy. From Las Vegas, Nevada, ranked number 23 in the world, Derek Hendrickson! And you know him well, the undisputed chugging champion of the world, YouTube's Badlands Chugs. Three million followers, don't touch that mouse, Badlands Booker! The World Chugging Championship. Two 64-ounce containers for a gallon. Count it down with me. From five, four, three, two, one, go! Richard, I don't believe this can be done in a short period of time, but look at Badlands go. You know, I think Derek Henderson might be out of, out of his depth here, George, like a freshman at his first keg party. Well, badly. It's, look, he's taking his time. He's always oh, he an incredible belch, Richard. That was so emotive. So it meaningful. Touched me. Here comes Badlands Booker now. He let Derek catch 
up so he could get rid of a belch, and now they're neck and neck. Another belch! Another! Derek kind of catching up a little here, George. I, I didn't expect the belches, Richard. This really changed the pace of this, but here comes Badlands, and he is done! Badlands Booker for the win! Eric Badlands Booker demolished a gallon of soda. We are officially underway here at Beer Park in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is the DraftKings Red Carpet Film Feast. We'll be back with eggs. It's million dollar hoop season and DraftKings is giving you a shot to turn big buckets into big bucks. That's right, new customers play free for millions with their first deposit. Just craft your winning lineup of players and turn baskets into bread with your team all season long. So download the DraftKings Daily Fantasy app, sign up with the promo code, and take your free shot at millions in prizes. DraftKings, make it rain. This golf season, we're giving you a shot to win big like Bryson does on the golf course. New customers can take a free swing at millions in prizes with their first deposit. Talk about a purse worth playing for. So download the DraftKings app, draft a six golfer lineup, play free for millions, and make it rain with the official daily fantasy game of the PGA Tour. It's baseball season, and at DraftKings, play ball means you play free. That's right, play free for thousands in prizes all season long. So while your team is making some epic plays, know that you're taking some epic wins. Just download the DraftKings Daily Fantasy app, sign up with the promo code, craft your winning lineup, and play free for thousands in prizes every week this season. DraftKings, make it rain. When the puck drops this season, your goal is winning. Get behind your favorite hockey lineup and prepare to net some green. Because DraftKings is setting you up on a power play so you can win millions in prizes all season long. That's right, we'll assist, you score. Just download the DraftKings app, sign up with the promo code, play free for millions, and make it rain. Welcome back to Las Variant, Nevada for the DraftKings Red Carpet Film Feast. And our undercard is ready to go. I'm going to throw it down to George for that. Ladies and gentlemen of Las Vegas, citizens of the world, welcome to the World Hard Boiled Egg Eating Championship of the World. From Normal, Illinois, ranked number 10 in the world. 11 pints of ice cream in six minutes. Let me hear it for Matthew Hazard. We are at war with the chicken. The current disposition, 57 billion chicken casualties to none. But she is not satisfied. She is here today to wipe out the entire next generation. From Tempe, Arizona, Ranked number nine in the world, fierce, angel, delicate, fury, breathtaking Queen Michelle Lesko. He is a diet coach and fitness instructor who is ranked number six in the world by Major League Eating. The odds-on favorite here today, not only because of his stature, but because he eats high-protein, low-carbohydrate food every day of the year. Let me hear it for Nick Worre! Number six in the world. So, George, as I understand it, this is 10 eggs in each container, yeah? For a total of 50. First to finish 50 eggs, the apocryphal record set by Paul Newman in Cool Hand Luke, that took an hour, Richard.
This will take much less, I expect. I'm thinking somewhere around three to four minutes. We'll see. Well, lest these eggs cook anymore under this hot Las Vegas sun, let's kick it off. Eaters, are you ready? Then count it down with me from five, four, three, two, one, go! And we are underway with the undercard. First to finish 50 eggs, 10 in each container. They must complete 10 before they move on to their second container, third container, fourth container, and fifth representing 50 eggs. Richard, I thought they were egg and egg. That's Matt Hazard and Nick Wary. But N Matt has fumbled the eggs. Nick is treating them with incredible care and facility. And Nick is on his 13th egg as we enter this event. Well, George, Nick knows if he knows one thing. He knows that eggs are a high quality protein loaded with vitamin D, a great source of choline and omega-3. Michelle, with that injury of hers, a lot of nutraceuticals already on her face, George. She, she's competing today, Richard, with a bum leg. It's not slowing her down. She has her movement. She has her rhythm. But my eyes are pulled to Nick Wary, who's well in the lead. Richard, you mentioned the eggs and Dr. Atkins. This man, he's entering ketosis as we watch him now. Richard, he's in ketosis. Nick, Nick has 15 in his hand right now on his heels, of course. Hungry Hazard, the Duke. He's got 10 down. Nick is now pushing toward 30, Richard. He's about five ahead of Matt Hazard. He's got him in hand, but we'll see how the final moments of this contest pan out. Michelle Lesko is actually trailing uh, a little bit too much, I think, at this juncture to catch up. Yes, indeed, my bad. It's uh, 10 eggs in each bowl. And now Nick very much into his fourth bowl. Just five left in that bowl. The egg, Richard, the hard-boiled egg, I love it. It's very versatile. You could bring it with you. You could bring it to work and just crunch the, the shell and roll it and then peel it right off. Well, you know when you, have, you, know when you peel a hard-boiled egg, there's a little membrane between the shell and the egg itself. They call that film noir, which I thought is fitting for the big movie uh, celebration tonight. It is. If you're really good, no detritus. It just comes right off. And now Nick is pushing into his final bowl. He's holding. Look at the eggs. He's like a juggler. It's so easy for him, Richard. Michelle on her third bowl. And I'll say the Duke Hazard here is doing pretty well. He's just about finished his 40th egg. Back. But I would be surprised. Nick had if better pick it up, Richard. Nick had better pick it up. Now Matt Hazard is yeah. showing what made him the 10th ranked eater in the world. Well, we're coming there's down a chance. to the wire. Two in his hand. It'll be interesting when. If indeed he finishes those two. And look, he holds him so gently, there's no crushing. And down it goes. And I believe that is the final leg. There it goes. He's just trying to clean out his mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, the egg eating champion of the world, the number six ranked Nick Wary. And let's, we're gonna make this official, George unofficial results we have to see if there's too much detritus i'm going to ask uh mickey actually george if you would to come down and we're going to give her the results we will give mickey the results and she will actually make the formal pronouncement she was so nice to do the red carpet interviewing for us former resident of las vegas now living in tampa florida i don't have the time handy but i'm going to do my best Uh, wrote her. Yeah, she'll do the interview. Okay. George, why don't you tell us the official results? Forgive my confusion, Richard. There was a lot of passion, a lot of confusion behind the table. The egg was flying in third place with 32 hard-boiled eggs. The great Michelle Lesko. And in second place, from Normal, Illinois, ranked number 10 with 42 hard-boiled eggs, is Matthew Hazard. But the winner here with our hostess, Mickey Sudo, the number one ranked eater in the female uh, division, is the great Nick Wary, who downed him and 
Took him away, Richard. Great job, Nick. How did you? How do you feel? Um, you know, I feel pretty good. I uh, I always thought about how it would feel to win my first contest, and um, it sounds a little emotional. Yeah. I mean, it's it's extra emotional because I always said I would thank myself because I'm the one that did the work. But the fact is, um, I I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, babe. Um, Obviously, I'm very biased. Well, hey. You know, I, I found somebody that supports my ridiculousness, like my 30-calorie almond milk and my one open bag of cheese in the fridge and my super organized grocery carts. Um, no empty ice cube containers and um, no sandwich plates in the sink. You know, my the kids adore you and you're outstanding with them. And this little boy is already so lucky to have you as a mom. I always told you, that I would be at the bottom of the stairs, and then I'm all in, babe. Oh, oh wow, this is, oh my this is real. <laughs> oh, yes, of course, babe. Oh, I'm never gonna get eggs the wow. same way. Unbelievable. <laughs> that is absolutely an emotional, an emotional thing, George. Uh, forgive me, I was overcome. Uh, wow, to, to clarify, awesome. she said yes. <laughs> She said I, yes, is that right? I hope my wife, yes, she said yes, I believe. I hope my wife wasn't watching because before I got engaged, I only ate two dozen hard-boiled eggs. Oh well, we're going to come back to Las Vegas for the main event. That was absolutely beautiful. Popcorn, the Popcorn Eating Championship. We're going to establish a new world record. We already have an engagement here with DraftKings in Las Vegas. Stick around. We'll be right back. When the puck drops this season, your goal is winning. Get behind your favorite hockey lineup and prepare to net some green. Because DraftKings is setting you up on a power play so you can win millions in prizes all season long. That's right, we'll assist, you score. Just download the DraftKings app, sign up with the promo code, play free for millions, and make it rain. It's baseball season, and at DraftKings, play ball means you play free. That's right, play free for thousands in prizes all season long. So while your team is making some epic plays, know that you're taking some epic wins. Just download the DraftKings Daily Fantasy app, sign up with the promo code, craft your winning lineup, and play free for thousands in prizes every week this season. DraftKings, make it rain. This golf season, we're giving you a shot to win big like Bryson does on the golf course. New customers can take a free swing at millions in prizes with their first deposit. Talk about a purse worth playing for. So download the DraftKings app, draft a six golfer lineup, play free for millions, and make it rain with the official daily fantasy game of the PGA Tour. It's million dollar hoop season and DraftKings is giving you a shot to turn big buckets into big bucks. That's right, new customers play free for millions with their first deposit. Just craft your winning lineup of players and turn baskets into bread with your team all season long. So download the DraftKings Daily Fantasy app, sign up with the promo code and take your free shot at millions in prizes. DraftKings, make it rain. Well, that was a real surprise there, not only with the clarity with which they ate those eggs, but then an amazing, amazing moment in competitive eating and I think romantic history with that proposal, unexpected proposal from Nick. She said yes, so uh, we'll be celebrating that in the months to come. What we're celebrating here today, of course, is the DraftKings Red Carpet Film Feast, and this one-of-a-kind clapper trophy goes to the champion of our main event, the Popcorn Eating Championship. Never been done before. Eight minute popcorn eating challenge. We're gonna set a new record with the greatest eaters in the world here in DraftKings Major League Eating. And George Shea is gonna introduce our eaters. Ladies and gentlemen, it is go time. It is go time time. It is go, no go, lock and load. Love them and leave them, smoke them. If you got them, see you and see you, see you on the other side. Time, time. It's time for the Draft Kings Red Carpet Film Feast Popcorn Eating Championship of the World. And now, 
with 20 pounds of pumpkin pie, 14 pounds of birthday cake, 14 million followers on YouTube. They call him the Mega Toad, ranked number four in the world, and the winner of the draft, Keaton's Halloween Candy Bowl, Matthew Stoner. As a teacher, he is the first and final pillar of our civilization. As an eater, he is unmatched in intensity. 83 slices of pizza, 281 Hooters chicken wings, 50 pork roll sandwiches from Oxford, Massachusetts, ranked number two in the world, and the winner of the Draft Kings Big Game Snack Down, Jeffrey Esper. Good luck today. He is the warrior king who stands where the land meets the horizon, steadfast and unshakable. Today is his greatest challenge. He stands flanked by his two arch enemies, his back against the wall. But as always, he is undaunted. He stands as resolve, as the promise of a nation, always onward, always forward. Carry the weight, advance the cause, one more unto the breach. The number one ranked eater in the world. The Nathan's famous July 4 champion of the world. Yowie Chestnut! Good luck, big man. And there they are, Richard. There they are. And, uh, you know, Joey plus 125. Esper at negative 130 here today, the DraftKings odds. And Matt Stoney at plus 230. Now, Esper, as you said, and Stoney have both won. A DraftKings competition. Uh, Stony, of course, the Halloween Candy Bowl, and Esper down in Tampa uh, for the big game Snackdown. So now it's the DraftKings rep Red Carpet Film Feast, and these are 24 ounce containers of popcorn, and they are lined up in rows of four. The competitors can place four of these cups into their bowl, eat that, and then move on from there. Any detritus in the bowl will be calculated at the end so that we know exactly how much these guys have eaten uh, of the 24 ounce cups, how many. So they are just getting ready. Matt Stoney getting psyched up. Right here on the strip in Las Vegas at the beautiful Beer Park and the Paris Hotel and Casino. Bonsoir, George, we're just about ready. If you'd like, Richard, I will count it down. Of course, we have a little activity on the strip here in Las Vegas. Never a dull moment in Las Vegas. Sen City, as we say here, a Paris. Okay, Richard, eaters, are you ready? Then count it down with me from five, four, three, two, one, go! And there they go. They're dropping it in the bowls, George, as instructed. Uncharted Five, territory here. 24 ounce, yes. And there goes Joey Chestnut. He's first into the bowl, very closely followed by Matt Stoney. 24 ounce cups, just like in the movie, Richard. Very unusual to see Joey and Jeff sitting down for this contest. Perhaps it's because you sit down at the movies. Perhaps. It's, uh, you know, mental conditioning. Now, the detritus is going to be an issue. Popcorn is brittle. It's basically just puffed corn. Popped in a traditional way, courtesy of Beer Park. The clean eater might be the one who comes away with the championship here, George. I hate to say this, but I don't know what it is, but Joey is struggling compared to Matt. Matt Stoney, the number four ranked eater in the world, 14 million followers on YouTube, is already through five. And look at him clean, but she's so conscientious throughout He's the just... contest. Matt Stoney now, and there go more containers down they go it's as if he's done this his whole life five more cups in joey still finishing up his first bowl and we are past the one minute mark just under seven minutes just consummate professionals these three eaters 
Of course, Matt right now ranked number four in the world. Joey, number one of Esper, right on his heels as the number two ranked eater in the world. You know, corn actually, uh, popcorn is not as, 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 as young or new as you might think it was. It was 6,700 years ago uh, that, that the first puffed, puffed corn, I'm sorry, on the cob uh, in Peru. The Peruvians created popcorn. We just refined it here in the U.S. Richard, thought? I'm just trying to uh, count the cups. It's so difficult with the speed that they move and the number of cups. Matt Stoney has 10 cups in his holster, Joey 9, and Matt is ahead on the bowl. Matt is ahead right now, and I'm trying to get a handle on Jeffrey Esper. Once again, Jeffrey always eats cleanly, and no difference today. Jeffrey, I would say, and Joey about dead even. Eight 24-ounce cups roughly for these guys, George. No, Matt now is at 13, Joey at 9, Jeffrey at 10. George, can I ask you, what does is, what is the dental conditioning mean for this? Because when I eat popcorn, sometimes I get a kernel caught between my gum and my tooth. And if you think it's COVID time, uh, Dr. Fauci, Anthony Fauci, would recommend you don't stick your finger in your mouth to, to dislodge that kernel. Do you think dental, uh, a dental sort of game is coming into play here? He with the best teeth? Uh, you know, I have no idea with this quantity of popcorn, but that is a very unfortunate incident that we've all experienced, Richard. And the corn feels huge, and it's tiny, and that's that's just the way it is. Perhaps they'll be going to CBS for dental floss after. But right now, look at Matt go, Richard. Look at his look at his dance there. And do you know Joey's sitting down, Jeffrey's yeah. sitting down, and I don't know if that is slowing them down. Matt Stoney, his legs double shoulder width, Richard, almost. Almost like a, a skateboarding move. He is in perfect physical condition for this event. What time are we in? We are at three minutes and 25 seconds. George, we are three minutes and 25 seconds in to an eight-minute popcorn eating contest. Now, one of the risks here for an eater is you don't want to get that popcorn wet, right? Because that's going to impact the judging at the end. But they do like their beverages, and who doesn't like a beverage when, they're, when you're eating popcorn? Matt is well ahead, Richard. The rules are you cannot dump water into the... Look at Matt is just throwing caution to the wind now, and he has begun to really build up at least a cup lead. And look at him clean, very thoughtful, Richard, because at the end, it's so hard to get him up. You could get a reduction from the judges. We are at the four-minute mark He's now, Richard. Matt Stoney well ahead of his competitors. Well, he's eating so deliberately, but I, I, don't, I can't get a sense. I think right now, and I'm not sure... Unofficial, George. I think Jeff Esper might be in second. Esper, a quiet guy, not in your face, regarded as the thinking man's eater. He studied at Oxford High School in Oxford, Massachusetts, just south of Worcester. Richard, 20, 24 ounce cups in the holster for Matt Stoney. Matt is well ahead. And Jeffrey Esper, I'm trying to count now the speed, as I said, very difficult to keep up. We are 4.45 in, George. Just about three minutes remain in this competition. Right now, I have it as Matt Stoney ahead by two cups. That could go into, into the judge's call, Richard. Matt is very deliberate when he dunks his cups, when he dumps his cups, I'm sorry, into the bowl. And I'm sure for future popcorn eating championships, the, the eaters will watch that. Jeff going with one cup at a time. Stoney with two more cups. Check that. Four now, more cups. Check Joey that. Chesna Five more has cups. 20 cups. Richard, 20 cups in the holster for Joey, but now Matt has gone ahead. This will probably bring him to the end of the contest. If he finishes that and Joey finishes his, we will be looking at Matt Stoney's second DraftKings victory here in this season, this crazy COVID season. And it looks to me like Jeffrey Esper could be in second. This would be devastating and such an upset. That corn is popping like a pipe bomb here in Las Vegas for Matt, the mega toad, Stoney. Two minutes remain, according to Sam Barclay. Joey trying to make up for a little lost time. This will come down to the judging, of course. We will go over this with a fine tooth comb. Make sure that we have the results correct, George. What's it like in the spray zone, pal? 
I would ask the eaters to finish up what's in their bowl rather than putting too much into the bowl with one minute and 30 seconds approximately left. Let's try to finish that up. Please don't wet that or crunch it. This is going to go down to the judges. Right now, Richard, Matt Stoney is well ahead. As we go into the final minute, I would suggest two or three cups, but no more because he just doesn't have time to do it. Joey Chestnut, a full bowl. And Richard, it's time to pull the goalie if you're Joey Chestnut, and that is what he's doing here in the final moments. Well, that'll be more work for the judges, but I understand what he's doing. He's trying to get a mountain in front of him and trying to consume that mountain. It's Popcorn Mountain. And it's the highest elevation in Las Vegas. <laughs> Matt Stoney now knew he had it from the beginning. He's trying to bring it home here as we enter the final moments of this contest. As discussed, I think that will be it on the popcorn. 45 seconds now, Richard. We're entering the bewildering moments of this contest as they push toward the goal line. Well, like anything, any timed competition or any event with a temporal quality, this does have to come to an end, and it's going to come to an end in, I'd say, about 30 seconds or fewer, and we're going to have a new world record before we go off air here from Beer Park in Las Vegas. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put down your popcorn. Oh, my glory, Un Richard. My glory. Unbelievable, George. Great call down there in the spray zone. I know our judges have their work cut out for them. This has been an amazing three-event night so far. We're going to come back with the results. Back to Las Vegas, Nevada, and the DraftKings Red Carpet Film Feast. Don't go away. This golf season, we're giving you a shot to win big like Bryson does on the golf course. New customers can take a free swing at millions in prizes with their first deposit. Talk about a purse worth playing for. So download the DraftKings app. Draft a six ball for lineup, play free for millions, and make it rain with the official daily fantasy game of the PGA Tour. It's million dollar hoop season and DraftKings is giving you a shot to turn big buckets into big bucks. That's right, new customers play free for millions with their first deposit. Just craft your winning lineup of players and turn baskets into bread with your team all season long. So download the DraftKings Daily Fantasy app, sign up with the promo code, and take your free shot at millions in prizes. DraftKings, make it rain. When the puck drops this season, your goal is winning. Get behind your favorite hockey lineup and prepare to net some green. Because DraftKings is setting you up on a power play so you can win millions in prizes all season long. That's right, we'll assist you score. Just download the DraftKings app, sign up with the promo code, play free for millions, and make it rain. It's baseball season, and at DraftKings, play ball means you play free. That's right, play free for thousands in prizes all season long. So while your team is making some epic plays, know that you're taking some epic wins. Just download the DraftKings Daily Fantasy app, sign up with the promo code, craft your winning lineup, and play free for thousands in prizes every week this season. DraftKings, make it rain. Welcome back to Beer Park, Paris Hotel and Casino. Bonsoir, and what a soir it is. The Red Carpet Film Feast, courtesy of DraftKings, with Major League Eating, and I believe our results are in. Am I right, George? Richard, yes. Um, this was a furious contest, and back and forth among second and third, but the number one was always known. In third place, an incredible upset. The number one ranked eater in the world with 23.5, 24 ounce cups of movie house popcorn, Joey Chestnut. Joey Chestnut with 24 and one half movie house 
popcorn boxes, the number two ranked eater in the world, Jeffrey Esper. Jeffrey, how did you feel out there today? You seem to be eating cleanly. You were sitting down. I thought that very unusual. How'd you feel? Uh, I felt okay. Uh, popcorn was out. Uh, I really cut my mouth up, though. I think that really slowed me down, so. And was that in your gums? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it really hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, and we will provide floss. I can guarantee you that. Congratulations on a great event. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Draft Kings Halloween Candy Bowl and the winner of the Draft Kings Red Carpet Film Feast with 28 and one half. 24 ounce movie house popcorn boxes, the number four ranked eater in the world, Matthew Stoney! And there is the hardware. Here is the, can you hold that? It's very, Richard, it's, it's really a good one. The DraftKings guys really do a great job. <laughs> that is fantastic. Matt, from the beginning, you were in control. I saw your stance in control, level set, but you were moving very fast, very efficiently. How did you feel? Yeah, I mean, um, my competitor, Joe Wing Nesper, they were sitting down, and it's tough to eat sitting down, so um, my back's hurting a little bit from the <laughs> hunting over, but it was worth it. I was able to get in rhythm. Now, let me, and let me ask you a question. You never seemed to slow to me. You seemed in a very good rhythm. Did you just find it and go, or were there moments that were more difficult? Um, no, it was, it, I mean, it's just popcorn, 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 it's crunchy, it's kind of, you know, it's getting in your gum, it's like, and stuff, but, um, yeah, I just found a rhythm, I just kept crunching, kept crunching, and, uh, just pushing past the pain, and, uh, just enjoying 28 and a half the things of popcorn. I gotta tell you, congratulations, Halloween Candy Bowl Championship, Red Carpet Film Feast Championship, 14 million followers, Matt Stoney on YouTube, congratulations, Richard? Well, what a night it has been, and uh, congratulations to Nick for his egg victory, but also <laughs> to he and Mickey on their amazing engagement, and congratulations to Matt Stoney. The fun's just getting underway. The night's not over yet. Hop into the DraftKings app that you have downloaded on your phone, and if you don't have it downloaded, download that DraftKings app. There's $25,000 uh, of a free-to-play for the movie awards. This was great. It was the DraftKings Red Carpet Film Feast. For Major League Eating and George Shea, I'm Rich Shea saying thank you for watching. Have a great night.